Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Sea Shepherd Night Drone Shot Down by Poachers, FAA Certifies the Vulcan Air V1.0, and Astronaut Bruce McCandless II Gone West. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's December 29th, and this is Airborne Unlimited. A controversial oceanic conservation group, Sea Shepherd, lost a drone Christmas Eve while monitoring suspected poachers at sea, and while attempting to protect porpoises in the Gulf of Mexico. Sea Shepherd vessel MV John Paul DeGiorio was conducting patrols at 2130 local time when the crew reported suspicious activity and launched a DJI multi-rotor to observe. The Sea Shepherd Matrice drone traveled nearly three miles for the vessel in an attempt to provide protection for the vaquita porpoise and totoboa bass. The crew remotely observed a small vessel in the area. Persons on board the skiff fired five shots at the Matrice, causing the operators to retreat, though examination of the footage showed at least one of the skiff personnel to be carrying a firearm. In later operations, the drone returned to observe other skiffs, resulting in more gunfire. Some 13 shots later, the Matrice was lost at sea, with the last shot resulting in the drone's monitor going dark, reading disconnected. In the past, Sea Shepherd reports that poachers have attempted to strike their drones with rocks, bricks, and even fish. However, this incident is the first time that the drones have been shot at. After the break, Arecibo Radar returns to work with Astron Python images. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. The Bristel Light Sport aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news-by at aero-news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The Arceba Observatory Planetary Radar has returned to normal operation post-hurricane, providing the highest resolution images to date of near-Earth asteroid 3200 Phaethon. The radar images reveal the asteroid is spheroidal and has a large concavity or depression at least several hundred meters in extent near its equator, and a conspicuous dark circular feature near one of the poles. An Airbus A400M has successfully refueled six Spanish Air Force F-18 fighters in a single mission as part of an air-to-air -air refueling human factor certification flight. The 13th of December mission featured a complex series of AAR scenarios, such as changes of area, receivers with unknown priorities, and unexpected increases in number of receivers. Through multiple contacts, the six aircraft simulated a fleet of eight. A new partnership between Air Direct Airways Flight Academy in Nashua, New Hampshire, and Southern New Hampshire University will give students who might not normally be able to afford to pursue a career in aviation to achieve that dream. The catalyst for the idea was the recent acquisition of the former Daniel Webster College, which is adjacent to Nashua Airport by SNHU. The university purchased DWC's former flight center, tower building and hangar from just $410,000 at auction. The Kansas Department of Transportation has selected Robert Brock to take on the role of Interim Director of Aviation. 
Brock served over 22 years in the Air Force and retired as Lieutenant Colonel. We are so fortunate at KDOT to have such a talented and passionate person like Bob Brock to take over aviation, says Secretary of Transportation Richard Carlson. Well, that's it for today's show around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Italian airplane manufacturer Vulcanair has made good on a promise it made at AirVenture in July and achieved FAA certification of its V1.0 four-place airplane it hopes to bring to the U.S. market as a training aircraft. Resembling a Cessna 172, the company says that it will cost as much as $100,000 less. The V1.0 is powered by the 180-horsepower Lycoming IO360M1A that is capable of running AFGAS or alternative fuels. The aircraft is offered with either a fixed pitch or constant speed propeller. One major difference between the 172 and the Vulcan Air V1.0 is that the Italian airplane has three doors. The separate luggage compartment can carry 88 pounds. The empty weight is 1,627 pounds with a max takeoff weight of 2,546 pounds. The company lists the cruise speed of the airplane at 130 knots and a maximum range of 591 nautical miles with a 45-minute reserve. Mid-Continent's latest digital backup digital instrument is offered standard in the aircraft package, as well as an AOA. An optional full IFR version is also available. He also certified the V1.0 in 2013. After these messages, astronaut Bruce McCandless II gone west. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We our Hartzell Propeller. In collaboration with NASC, introducing Sonics Aerospace, bringing you the Teros Group 4 UAS, the redesigned Tiger Shark Block 4, and the Subsonics Twin Jet UAS, all derived from flight proven manned systems, not concepts, real aircraft. More at SonicsAerospace.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. Former NASA astronaut Bruce McCandless II, mission specialist on the STS-41B and STS-31 missions, died December 21, 2017 at the age of 80. McCandless is perhaps best remembered as the subject of a famous NASA photograph flying alongside the space shuttle and the manned maneuvering unit, the first astronaut to fly untethered from his spacecraft. Our thoughts and prayers go out to Bruce's family, said Robert Lightfoot, NASA's acting administrator. He will always be known for his iconic photo flying the MMU. McCandless, a retired U.S. Navy captain, was one of the 19 astronauts selected by NASA in April 1966. He was a member of the astronaut support crew for the Apollo 14 mission and was backup pilot for the first crewed Skylab mission. He flew as a mission specialist on two space shuttle missions. On STS-41B in 1984, he performed the famous spacewalk. And on STS-31 in 1990, he helped deploy the Hubble Space Telescope. Of his famous spacewalk he wrote in 2015, My wife was at Mission Control, and there was a quite a bit of apprehension. I wanted to say something similar to Neil when he landed on the moon. So I said, it may have been a small step for Neil, but it's a heck of a big leap for me. That loosened the tension a bit. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is currently on our winter schedule and is streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Since Monday is the New Year's holiday, airborne programming will resume Tuesday. See you then.